Hello my viewers. Today I'm going to do a bit more on carbies and induction. Alright, well here's this little engine again. I've had to replace the muffler. Don't comment about the hack job please. Now, this carburetor has a manual choke, has fuel mixture for high speed and fuel mixture for low speed. And over here little primer. Now what happens is the air goes in through here in the air filter up here into the little venturi where the jets are. The venturi sort of acts like the underneath of an aeroplane wing which causes a low pressure as the air goes past it which actually draws the fuel in from the bowl because that's at atmospheric pressure. So the fuel gets pushed in, doesn't get sucked in. Now what choke does when you close that blocks off the airflow through to the actual air filter and causes more fuel to get pushed into the through the jet by atmospheric pressure. I'll explain that more another day. Now the way displacement works is the piston in there, when it goes down and the inlet valve is open, the piston actually causes a larger surface area inside the chamber, which makes a low pressure. Now atmospheric pressure will push its way into the engine through the carby because we've got a low pressure in there and a high pressure out here, atmosphere. So the atmosphere goes up and in past the venturi which draws more fuel through because of another low pressure and gets drawn into the actual firing chamber. Then that valve will close when the piston is at the bottom, the piston will come up and compress that mixture and when the piston's almost at top dead center, the spark plug here will fire, the fuel air mixture will combust and push the piston back down again. When the piston's at the bottom of the cycle again, the exhaust valve will open and the piston comes up again and pushes all the exhaust gas out. When the piston gets to the top, the exhaust valve closes, the inlet valve opens again and inducts more air fuel mixture into it. That is a four cycle for you. I'll explain a two cycle another time. Alright, well I best try and start this little thing again and give it a proper run today. how you turn it off. It just shorts out the voltage from the spark plug straight to ground. That's why I don't get electrocuted. Never touch this while it's running, it will hurt. Thank you for watching.